Hey, I'm Dr. Jerry Williams with Urgent Care 24-7, and I'm here to talk to you today about spider bites. Now, we see a lot of patients nationally at Urgent Care 24-7s who present with the complaint of possible spider bite. And fortunately, the majority of them uh, typically don't end up being spider bites, but uh, they can be another serious condition, which are uh, typically staph-related infections such as methicillin-resistant staph aureus or MRSA. Now, that's a whole different topic that we'll talk about later. But uh, actually, it's, it's the uh, brown recluse spider bite that is frequently suspected when it can be a methicillin-resistant staph aureus infection. And we can typically figure that out by uh, the physical exam and by taking a careful history from the patient, though not always. But the, the spider bites that we see in the United States most commonly are the brown recluse spider uh, bites and also those of the black widow. I want to talk to you about both of those <clears throat> and because uh, they're both very serious uh, conditions. Now the black widow spider bite is a, a very serious condition. So if you suspect you've been bitten or you know you've been bitten by a black widow spider, you need to seek medical care immediately. It is a medical emergency. Uh, and if it's in a child or elderly person, it, it's it's even it, it's it needs to be taken at the highest at the highest level of concern. So uh, again, uh, suspected black widow spider bite seek medical care immediately, because the venom that the black widow produces is a protein that's actually a neurotoxin, and so when the bite occurs and the venom's injected into the into the person into in which is intended for the prey of the spider, the, uh, the, the patient very quickly, within 20 minutes to an hour, uh, starts to have symptoms of muscle weakness and tremors and muscle spasms, abdominal pain, heart, heart racing, changes in blood pressure, and ultimately, especially in the very young or the elderly, it can even result in death. So it's extremely important that you take these, uh, these bites uh, very seriously and treat them as, as true medical emergencies. Now, in regards to the, uh, to the brown recluse bite, uh, the, the venom is actually uh, different. It is not as neurotoxin. It's actually an, uh, a, a tissue, a tissue uh, necrolyzing uh, venom that causes destruction of the tissue. And, and I mean destruction, it's, it's terrible. Uh, these, these bites, uh, we, we will have to go in and debreed dead tissue. Uh, and the, uh, where the venom has spread, uh, it can take multiple, multiple debridements to remove the damaged dead, uh, tissue. And ultimately, um, sometimes in the worst cases with, uh, these brown recluse bites, uh, uh, skin grafts uh, are actually required to uh, to cover uh, and uh, help the wound close. So these are extremely uh, serious uh, uh, bites, and if you think you've been bitten by a brown recluse, you need to take it very seriously and seek medical attention immediately. Both of these uh, spiders are, are pretty common, um, and it, it's interesting because frequently uh, patients who have been bitten by spiders, it, it can happen in your sleep. They, they have no idea they've been bitten. Um, and so uh, just because you didn't see the spider bite, you need to have a pretty high threshold, uh, or I should say a low threshold, of uh, uh, to seek care uh, and a, a very high suspicion. Because if you have these symptoms, uh, it, can, it can be a serious medical problem. We see a lot of patients um, who present with the presumed spider bite and fortunately, on exam, uh, we find that, uh, and by taking the history, these are typically patients that have a history of meth methicillin staph aureus, where uh, the patient just has a, a staph infection, and it's not related to a brown recluse uh, bite um, with the uh, necrotizing uh, venom of the brown recluse. So um, uh, I hope that you find that uh, this information is useful. Um, antibiotics and steroids and very, very uh, careful wound care are the mainstays of treatment. 
and certainly you need to seek medical care to secure those. I hope that you've found this topic uh, useful. I'll look forward to talking to you soon on another medical chat where we'll cover topics such as this, uh, spider bites. I'm Dr. Jerry Williams with Urgent Care 24-7. Life is 24-7 and so are we.